Tau is the most established index to describe left ventricular diastolic function. According to the definition, tau happens in the isovolumic diastolic period when both the mitral valve and aortic valve are closed. Therefore, three approaches are available to investigate tau. The first is to insert a catheter into the left ventricle. This is the traditional catheter method. The second is to measure mitral regurgitation. The third is to measure aortic regurgitation. This video will focus on the last two non-invasive approaches. The theory to calculate tau by measuring mitral regurgitation was published in 2008 and verified experimentally in 2018. The idea is to measure two time periods on the descending branch of continuous wave Doppler mitral regurgitation spectrum and substitute them into the follow equation group. TAU equals T1 minus T3 slash L and LAP plus 36, LAP plus 4. TAU equals T1 minus T2 slash L and LAP plus 16, LAP plus 4. Solving the equation group, we get tau and lap. Lap is left atrial pressure. To be more convenient for clinicians, we borrowed an assumption from Dr. Nishimura, lap equals 20 millimeters of mercury. After substitute this assumption into the following equation, we got a more pragmatic equation. TAU equals T1 minus T3 slash L and LAP plus 36, LAP plus 4. TAU equals T1 minus T3 slash L and 20 plus 36, 20 plus 4 TAU equals 1.2 T1 minus T3. In their milestone study of tau, Nishimura's measurement is tau equals 58 milliseconds, T1 T3 equals 48 milliseconds. Unbelievable accurate. Nobody knows the above formula yet at that time. 2017, Mindre, the largest medical equipment company in China, launched the first tau measurable echo machine in the world based on the above discovery. The theory to calculate tau by measuring aortic regurgitation was also published in 2008 and verified experimentally in 2021. The idea is to measure two time periods on the ascending branch of continuous wave Doppler aortic regurgitation spectrum and substitute them into the follow equation group. TAU equals T3 minus T1 slash L and DP minus 4, DP minus 36. TAU equals T2 minus T1 slash L and DP minus 4, DP minus 16. Solving the equation group, we get tau and DP. DP is diastolic pressure. Pragmatically, we can use one equation to calculate tau since dp can be measured conveniently. Theoretically, calculation of tau in aortic insufficiency patient is more accurate than in mitral regurgitation patient, since no assumption is applied. In reality, accurate measurement of dp could be challenging. More practice is needed to smooth the procedure. In summary, Tau can be calculated whenever mitral regurgitation or aortic regurgitation is available. In patients we really want to know the diastolic function, chances are actually pretty high we can get tau. Compared with the OSA guideline method of diastolic function evaluation, tau calculation is indispensable because it is related directly to how powerful the active cardiac muscle is. Tau renders us a unique way to evaluate cardiac function. Shortly after it was discovered, tau was well accepted as the best index to describe diastolic function. From the specific tau, left ventricular diastolic time constant, we can predict the general tau. Once the general tau was there, the symmetry of cardiac function assessment became phenomenal out of a blurred picture. General tau and symmetry will bring great changes to the cardiac function assessment. The idea of general tau broadens our vision of how both the ventricles are related, and why the contraction and relaxation are closely paired. Yes, from the electrophysiological point of view, the stimulation process might be different, but once the cardiac muscle is activated, its contraction and relaxation behavior is less affected by how it was stimulated. General tau is the harbinger of the symmetry of cardiac function assessment. Realization of symmetry of cardiac function assessment might be the maximum benefit of tau. As Dr. Sharif Nagwe pointed out, 
it will be very helpful to the cardiac function assessment, especially to the right heart and diastolic function. With the help of symmetry, quite a few interesting approaches, labeled by question marks, are coming out of the shadow. In Table 3, both TAY indexes focusing on diastole had been investigated by two postgraduate students. Publications pending.